Hi, so once again today we are going to be looking at something here that you're going to want to be taking some notes on. So this, when you go to do this activity, you are going to be, it's called the Martian in the car. There's a couple of different parts to it, but the thing that I want to talk to you about is this first part where we're talking about the Martian in the car. So what has happened is the Martian has come to Earth and is looking at things and trying to say what's alive and what's not. And he goes back to Mars and he ends up saying a car is alive. <clears throat> so when we talk about uh, what's alive and what's not, there's some characteristics and depending on what textbook and things that you end up looking at, it can be anywhere from five to seven or even more than that for the characteristics that make something alive. So I'm going to give you some that would be important for you guys to know. So one of the key ones that you would have for the characteristics of living things would be that all living things are going to be made of cells, either one cell or more than one cell. The Another one is that all living things are going to be able to obtain and use energy. So that means they're going to take in some food source and we're going to convert it into an energy source that we're able to use. So like you eating a sandwich, and then later you're able to take that energy and be able to use it uh, to do things like work or grow, um, uh, repair things in your body, things like that. So that's another one of the characteristics of living things. Uh, another characteristic of living things would be that they all are going to be able to grow and develop. So that means your mothers are probably really thankful for this, that you did not come out the size that you are, that you were uh, smaller and you've grown and you've developed into the individual that you are today. Uh, so that's three characteristics that we've talked about. Uh, another characteristic of living thing is being able to respond to their environment. So when we look at that, that's referring to um, like there's some plants where you can go and touch them and you see the leaf end up curling on it. Um, it could also be I take you guys out in front of the school and I end up saying that you're going to be running wind sprints out in front of the school. Uh, you are going to end up responding to that environment. You're not going to overheat and die. Your body is going to do things to be able to keep you uh in in balance uh, and you'll be able to survive that so that would be uh being able to respond to the environment uh the another one is that all living things have genetic material so that would be meaning that when you go and like you picture in your mind your parents when they got together to make you okay you got that um, each one ended up giving part of their half of the information to make you who you are. Um, so you can stop thinking of your parents that way because that's sort of creepy. Okay. And then another one of the characteristics that goes along with that is all living things are going to be able to reproduce. So that means they're going to be able to pass on that genetic information to, uh, to all offspring and uh, whether it is like another cell that they make or a whole nother individual that they would create. So uh, those are sort of the key ones that I'm looking for when I talk about characteristics of living things. If you go and look online, you may find other ones where it talks about like evolution and things like that, where it's saying that the organisms are going to change as time goes on. That one's sort of hard to see in an individual, if you're looking at a single organism, you're not going to necessarily be able to see that happen during its lifetime. So I like to sort of leave that one out. Um, so one other thing I will explain on this is when you look at these, um, if you don't know what defense attorney, what the prosecutor is, defense attorney here in this case is trying to support our little Martian friend, Marty, saying that they are going to um, explain why it would be considered alive. And then the prosecutor is going to be the individual that is trying to prove Marty as being 
wrong uh, and that he was not correct that a car could be a living thing. So you need to come up with five characteristics that would make a, where you could look at a car and be like, yeah, that could be considered alive. And then you're going to need to come up with five things of where you'd say a car, no, no, it's not alive. Um, the rest of this, you need to read these little excerpts, and then you're going to be going through and you're going to answer those questions uh, uh, about that. So these don't have to do with characteristics of living things. They're just talking about scientific method and things like that. Okay, so that is it for this activity. Hope that helps.